Ugh, hair. <laughs> hey everyone, I am coming at you guys with another first impressions on this BH Studio Pro HD foundation. If you guys want to see my thoughts and the application of this foundation, then go ahead and just keep watching. I got the color in 110. I mentioned this in my BH Cosmetics haul. Whew! I really hope this is the correct color. I'm going to take a Real Techniques sponge. So it is dampened and cleaned. And of course, like I did in my last first impressions, I'm going to do half primer, half no primer. And then I think I used a brush. I really don't have any clean brushes at the moment. I'm just gonna use my handy dandy Smashbox. Smashbox? Smashbox photo finish. I'll do this half primer and the snow primer. Nice and of course, got that nice silicone. Want to seep into your skin, nice and boom, all up in that skin. I really want to rub this side because it's nasty and it's gross and it's not as smooth. <laughs> which, which side? Start. And I love this part of it. It's matte and glossy on the inside. And I'll get one more close up. So pretty. So, the pump is so cool. It's cool, it's cool. But yeah, do you like the lights? I hope you do, because I got them for you. And I really got them because I cannot see in this room and the overhead light is awful. This is like no overhead light. There's a little window like right here, but it don't help. Girl, it does not help. Y'all know in my like first videos. Do I wanna put this on my hands? It's thick. I don't wanna shake it, it's so thick. And I don't think it had any in Whoa almost there it's like fail I feel like it's gonna come out at any time <gasps> little shits sorry I don't mean to cuss but y'all look at this I don't even see the pump in there what is this what can I do with this Absolutely nothing. It's like wanting to come through, but it's not. So I guess I'll just dump it on the back of my hand. All right. So I don't know how many pumps that is, but it's thick. Do y'all see this? Thick. Real thick. Normally I like them thick. So I'm gonna do the brush side, and we're doing this side. Maybe I should scoot she. I put this in my mouth, and now it's like in the way. The cup. Whoa. Maybe that's just why. Makeup always looks so way better in good lighting. Like, way. Like, I'm like, why can't this lighting just follow me around all day long? So, of course, everyone knows I don't prefer a brush. I feel like it takes longer. I don't know. Um, I'd say the color is a pretty good match. Okay, I like the color. Woo, that looks sexy on camera <laughs> what um and it's really matte it has dried pretty quickly on my face i hope it's transfer resistant nowhere on here does it say that oh it says shake well before you use well i did and i don't think it was a good idea I'm like beating my hand this stuff is so thick i mean i like see straight down the hole ever but anyway so there's a big old glob not as much as on my hand and we're just gonna go. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror. A mirror right over here. So, so far I do like the finish, obviously, because it's matte. I just like matte, I do. Matte is bay for my face, literally. I mean, that is just some good coverage. I think I just found a foundation that I really like and it's under $10, that's Pretty cool. You know when you find those good, <laughs> those good finds and you're just like, what, what? You're just like excited about them. Look at that pimp. Mm. Oh my gosh, and I'm just going over this side with a beauty blender. Oh well, cause it's so much better y'all. I mean, I do a brush for the brush users of the world. Overall, I like it a lot. I like the coverage. I like the way it looks on camera. I'll zoom you guys in. 
So you saw my skin before. Makes my teeth look pretty white. Whoa, my eyes are bloodshot. It's the coverage. My pores are always huge. But that's the difference between the prime side and the un prime side. Prime side just seems to take the gold because it really does give you a nice base and I recommend it to anybody to use a primer. If you don't need one, God bless you. So I'm going to finish up. Okay guys, I am done. I have done all of my contouring, my powder, my blush, my highlight, and I even did my eyes. I did film a look on these eyes. Look for that video. It'll be posted after this one in case you guys were wondering how to get this look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this first impressions. So far what I can tell you, this is what it looks like after setting it and concealer and blush and powder. As y'all saw before, my scarring, that's what it looks like up close. So for eight bucks guys, can't go wrong with this guy and it has a lot of product in it. I like it. It's matte, definitely a matte finish. Um, a little on the thicker side once again, I think I said that in the beginning, but I do like those types of foundations. So if you do not, you may not like this. You may do less layers or less amount on your face and get way better coverage. But if you do have something to cover, I believe it's going to do the job and I, I love it. I really do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe. I will see y'all in my next video. I fell, I fell,